Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan for a much-anticipated main event. Remember, stick and move, we'll get stick to know you here in the opening round scheduled for 10. Bulldog's edge is speed. He can get in and out. He can get you offensively. He can get away from you defensively. Yeah, he has radial tires, and you got to take some air out of those tires. No better place or way to do that than go downstairs. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Up and down, side to side. Just not there. Straight right hand off the mark. How about that hook by Cruz? Shot to the head with that right hand. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Not able to land the headshot. Move your head. Move your head. Halfway through this round. He missed with that headshot. Nice work on the right hand by Pernell Whitaker. yet again oh he just misses with that headshot <gasps> Whitaker's right hand scores well that time it's all right just keep moving Solid hook. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. And we come to the end of round number one. That's it. I need another round like that. Just like that, all right? You're doing good. Just keep it up. You won that round, all right? You won that. You don't need that. I'll throw that away. Here we go, round two is underway. Whitaker blocks that punch. Off the target by Bulldog. Nice work, nice work. Gets rid of that body shot. Whitaker's doing a really good job of being defensively sound, of being patient, and waiting for that golden opportunity for some offense to come in the mix. Well, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting for a mistake to be made. You know, he wants a lead out of his opponent right now so he can make a miss and bang, come right back with that hook. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. Double jab by Bulldog. And now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. 
Halfway through round number two. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Guard up. Bulldog's Guard up. punch is far off the target. That worked out really well. Nice. Throwing off the right nice. hand after getting tagged like that. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. That's great stuff. Hole. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Bulldog. Good block by Sweet Pea. Cruz's punch didn't come close. On the mark with a straight left hand. How about that exchange? Final 10 seconds of round number two. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Cruz is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. And this round comes to an end. Bulldog's got to feel good about himself after that last round. He really damaged his opponent. Number three is underway. That's a flush shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Also gave one solid effort by Cruz. Keep moving, keep moving. Come on now. Side to side. Don't move your head side to side. Come on now. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Able to dismiss that body shot. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Nice! Early on in this fight, one of the things I'm going to look for is who's the more well-rounded fighter offensively? Who can do it all with all their punches? Well, you look for that in any sport, in any profession. You know, you nice. look at a quarterback, you know, in football, the great ones, they can throw deep, but they can throw the short patterns. They can throw the out, the in patterns. Same thing with a fighter. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Shake it off, shake he it gives off. Right, as well right. as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Bulldogs putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Cruz's combination that was landed moments ago is a, one of those examples of what every trainer would really like to have, and that's a fighter with good hand speed. Yeah, and he's showing that right now. Now, the the trainer in the other corner hopes he has a guy with good timing because timing can negate nice speed. Nice work, nice work. Come on, push. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Doubling up the jab by Bulldog. Oh! Great goings here in this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it?
All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. Here you go. That was good. Nice work. Beautiful, beautiful. You're gonna keep that head moving. And I want to see double jabs. This is a classic example we're seeing here as we start round number four of just the busier guy taking the fight. He's up three rounds to zip on Teddy's scorecard. Yeah, my concern, though, Joe, I have one little concern. What's there. that? Well, is he winning the battles but maybe going to lose to Walt because he's really wearing himself out. He's working so hard to get things done. Down the road, does he pay a price? Pernell Whitaker's trying to get back to where he was here in this round. He was knocked down in the last round. Now, Teddy, when you're the opponent and you knock the guy down, those opening few moments of the next round, do you try to size up and kind of take into account where your opponent is? Do you look into his eyes and assess the situation? Well, I don't know if you get close enough to look right into his eyes as your opponent, but first of all, the corner, you better not send your fighter out of his eyes so look clear. That's your responsibility, looking out for the fighter. But as the opponent out there, you look at his legs. If his legs look a little wobbly, you get right on him. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Off target with that hook. Halfway through round number four. Oh, you're doing great. <laughs> Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Cruz is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Keep moving, keep Off moving. to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Cruz is showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Nice work by Pernell Whitaker. He was looking for an opportunity. He got it with that counterpunch. Yeah, he steps to the side. You know, a lot of times you talk about using your jab to set up a shot. He used his legs. Step to the side, got that opportunity. Not the most Come accurate on, uppercut you'll see. Hey, Super two on, punch combo by Come Bulldog. On, and now he brings the left hand upstairs. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Double jab by Pernell Whitaker. Whitaker showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. More than one punch downstairs, that can be damaging. Good look at right hand after he got hit. Basic boxing and it works so well. Put your punches together, a good combo by Bulldog. Cruises. Oh, Teddy, this has got to drive his trainer crazy because he's leaving himself wide open That's with it. these Just sweeping like shots. Well, you talk about that old saying, leaving the barn door open and the horses are going to go out. Well, guess what? The punches, sooner or later, they're going to come in. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Very accurate two-punch combo by Bulldog. You see how he comes over the top with that left hand. Well-placed shot there. 
Halfway into round number five here. Took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Now he's sending more than one at him now. The combo to the head. Doubles up the jab to the head. Parries that punch intended for the head. Just like that, just like that. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Good doubling up of the jab by Bulldog. Blocks the head shot. Targeting that straight uppercut, left hand. Open, uppercut, baby, come on! Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Bulldogs. Bulldogs just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. And round five comes to an end. Cruz is in a position now where he should be able to bring home a win. If things stay the way they are, he's clearly headed towards a win. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard, but he has to make sure he doesn't like in football going to that defense. defense. If he starts just moving, just staying away a little bit, now the things that were keeping his opponent from coming in that front door, well, guess what? They're not there no more. His opponent could get back into this fight. Protecting his head well with his guard. one but gets one good work by bulldog Cruz's punch stats have shown one thing to me and that he is committed and effective with the jab tonight and that's making it so that he can then get the payoff on the inside yeah exactly he's getting him there it's opening the door it's bringing him into that room so to speak where he's able to get a clean alleyway to get in there safe and then go to work needs to improve that accuracy missed with the headshot Great work offensively landing that combination by Pernell Whitaker. Double jab upstairs. Whitaker's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Jump on him, jump on him right now! Punch, punch, that's Back to the body! The left hand coming into play by Pernell Whitaker. Locked that away, it was targeted for his head. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. And that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. And that's the end of round six. Bulldog's coasting his way towards a victory here. That round comes to an end, and yet another round that you got to mark down on your scorecard for him. Yeah, the only way he loses now is if he's a glutton. 
You know those guys? You've seen them, Joe. They're on our crew. They stay at the table too long. They don't know when to push away from the table. You know? Well, he's got to push away from the table right now. If he does that, hey, this is in the bank. Keep working the jazz. Good, good. He's showing you some defense there with the blocks. Cruz's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Cover your head, kid. A combination punch by Bulldog. His favorite punch is the jab, and tonight he's loving it. Well, the jab is the table setter, Joe, and he set a beautiful table tonight. Napkin on the left, you know, small fork on the left, knife on the right, and the food right in the middle. And he's eating all night. You taking some English etiquette classes? <laughs> you getting hungry? Comes right back with a shot of his own. is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Halfway through the seventh round. Not able to land the headshot. Keep doing what you're doing. Good work. Well placed, well timed combo up top. He missed with that headshot. What a trap he just set, and he lands a nice counter punch. Yeah, that's the old catch with a ghost trick there. You know, you're there one time, you give him a little shade, Keep you know, a little shadow. Keep and then he throws at you, you pull back, bang, come right back with your old. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Bulldog showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Cruz is rocked by that punch. And that does it for this round. Keep circling away from that power. You need you to keep moving. Side as we start round number eight here, Whitaker's in a real tough spot. Not only is he down on your scorecard, I mean, that's obvious to see that he's losing the fight here through seven rounds, but he doesn't have the look of a guy that can get himself back into the fight. Oh, this is what it's about. I mean, who said that this was an easy business? He might have to be reminded of that. Who said this was an easy business? It wasn't going to be about just when you had to leave, when you had the right opponent in front, when you were hitting the heavy bag. It was going to be about, always was going to be about these kind of days. Make up your mind. What are you going to be? What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Cruz. Bulldog's opponent's probably looking at him right now saying, wow, you're not changing anything up. You know, he got to him moments ago. Now, he's got the same style that he's looking at again. Yeah, but he got to him moments ago. Got to him. One time. Wow, nice flush left hand. Whitaker's found that group. Oh, and there you go. Up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turns it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. Cruz's corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you give him? And yet another big shot comes in. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? Three, four, five, six, seven.
Cruz is getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. And he ties up on the inside. He gets off with a combination up top. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Oh. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. <laughs> Nothing there on the punch by Pernell Whitaker. about another line of employment. so shocked but we just are you'd think we learn by now that anything can happen here's a fight that is clearly heading to a decision and just like that it's over by knockout yeah you need to go to sleep take a sleeping pill or do that stick your chin out bang for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore thanks for being with us everyone